Catching up with Tom. It's back. Hello, Tom. Hello, and welcome, Florian, to me. And um, to you, and to the hippo. Have you seen the hippo video? I've seen it. You've showed it me. I'm, I, is that your hippo, or is it his hippo? It is. Well, I. It's my drawing. He. He's oh. got a channel which is called the Hippocrite, where I, it is yeah. a, a hit. A hippo that critiques pop culture it's oh. it's very important work that it's doing this hippo oh right okay and the hip the hippo is a character or is he yes it's a little plush hippo i liked it i you know uh yeah so it was a it was a good video you know so there's a hippo contest i can't draw hippo for him you, um, you should paint a hippo it's necessary <laughs> have you seen those people who paint with their feet oh god yeah yeah they they sort of put the brush between their toes and then they, they put it on the wall and stuff like that. I uh, I knew someone who could do that. I, I bet I could do that if I wanted to. I've got a very flexible toe, so I, I, I often pick up clothes with my feet and stuff. It's Yeah, sometimes what <laughs> I do is I I paint my nails on my, uh, <laughs> oh, my, no. my toes yellow and then, you know, sort of do some detail and I make them look like talons and I just walk around the house like an eagle. Picking up pants, socks, <laughs> that kind of thing. What do you think to that? Is that a good thing? You should maybe have that checked uh, out. It's, it's right. hard to tell. Okay. What would I say to the doctor in that scenario? Do you think... Caca! Caca! Maybe. maybe. Yeah, get, go to the veterinarian. <laughs> <laughs> right. My go wings aren't vet. working. Caca! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's a good point, actually. <laughs> More of a vet kind of job, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, good point. Um, yeah, I, uh, the, so the person who could draw with their feet, he was, uh, she was someone we called Wacky Jackie in the family. Oh, wow. You know right, her. she, well, what, you know her? I thought you, you saw this person on the TV, but go on, it's... No, 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 I, yeah. I, she, I see she, that the Tom Law is being extended. I'm very happy that you're... That you're back now, fully back, to a, a full squid member again, it, because <sighs> that just makes the channel so much better. It, it, it's like in the rallies and in, in associates where Neeb's left and he was replaced yes. for a while and then he came back. Yeah, it's I just know, right? like that. What a, what a brilliant turn of events. I mean, honestly, <laughs> the whole time I was gone, Wonder Broom. That's all. I was <laughs> oh doing. God, you're rich yeah. now with brooms. <laughs> yeah. So many brooms. Well, maybe um, I'm Neebs. I'm rich now. Hmm. Yes, maybe you're Doralius. Wait, what, what, so... One of your no. adventure Doralingus. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait. Bec well, Doralius is the sensible one, so that can't be you. So, ergo, it must be me. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Oh, God, yeah, I'm right. Neebs. Oh, no, I, I'm so shit. terrible. You're Neebs. <laughs> I, I don't want to be Neebs. I saw a, a fan theory saying that he, he's going to, like, own the kingdom. With his new invention of what is it, Wonder Bridge or something like that? Well, he basically already owned that other kingdom, so why not? Yeah, I suppose so. Um, right, so this woman, okay, <laughs> she, we, she was called Wacky Jacket. She, oh, that checks uh, out. She had dreadlocks in her hair, multicolored ones. She used to put thread them with like loads of colors and shit. And she was, I don't know how to describe this for him, but I think witches are real. And I think you'll believe it too if you were ever to meet Wacky Jackie. Because in her oh, house, no. she had wine bottles with um, fucking candles in them that overflowed over the floor because she'd never put her candles out. She'd have uh, magic mushrooms on the desk. She had. What else did she have? She had all these books did on she, like. Did she herbs. have a crystal ball? Yes! <laughs> of yes, course! She did. She's gotta have a crystal no, ball! No, honestly, she, she was. Absolutely insane. Like, <laughs> maybe she's just a really dedicated cosplayer. <laughs> the oh, monkey bridge, on... <laughs> drawing with her with her toes swinging from oh, the yeah. branches. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, the toe thing's not even the weirdest part. Like, she wasn't too weird, but she was. She was just, she was just really much an individual. But she once took me into the woods. Okay, and bear oh, in mind no. I was this a small... Oh no, this is where it gets tragic. Oh. The, the, the horrible backstory of the Tom. Yeah. This I've is why he, he never went back to school. He just couldn't reach out to people. I, I was changed after that day. Oh, so no. Yeah, so I w What, what we did she the... do with the bananas? <laughs> 
She taught me how to brush with my penis. <laughs> oh, oh no, she... you used banana peels as a condom. Hey, that would that work? It probably no, would. it wouldn't. <laughs> oh, I heard some. I heard in ancient times. I get, mean, I, I guess if you. I guess if you hollow out the banana, <laughs> yeah, this is very distracting. Go on. About no, wait, wait, wait. No, no, I, I have to mention this. So, in in ancient, like medieval times, they'd use a orange peel, like in the woman, you know, like a diaphragm, like the weird little cup pea type things. They'd put like an orange peel up there, and that's well, as long that as they like... don't eat it afterwards. Ah, uh, well, <laughs> don't mind some, don't mind some fishy orange. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> so. Jeez. Okay, so she took me into the woods, okay, and you had this book, right? Or, no, it was like uh, this fucking... Uh, a book of curses. It was, no, it was uh, an, a journal, An Necronomicon, right? no? <laughs> no, I was not sacrificed. And it, <laughs> oh, good. Anyway, so... Well, you might have she, been. Maybe you, you came back from the dead. It's always hard to tell. It's, everyone right, always it's thinks that tell, they're, they're originally alive, but maybe they're undead. Boy, and you're freaking me out now. I watched The Matrix and I couldn't sleep for a week. <laughs> oh no! This, yeah, this conversation isn't helping me with my psychological problems. I'm, I'm convinced. Oh, we'll, uh, we'll, make, we'll make sure to work through them in, in further episodes. <laughs> what is this? It is this? No, no, third it's episode, not. It. Tom on Tom on the couch, Tom well, in the corner crying, rocking himself to sleep. That would make for good entertainment. Oh, it would, would it? Breaking me down. <laughs> Peeling the layers of my brain. We have to first break you if, if we have to make you unbreakable, Tom. I'm not Tom. fucking sea biscuit. You can't <laughs> ride me. I don't Ow. need to be broken. <laughs> um, okay, so saddle aside. Put me into the woods. She had a book. In that book, she knew magic mushrooms. She knew everything about mushrooms. So, bearing in mind I'm a small child, I didn't know what magic mushrooms were. But I now understand they are a, a recreational drug. Maybe, maybe oh. you thought it was the mushrooms where you get bigger and smaller from Alice in Wonderland. I, you know, it wasn't even <laughs> that at the time. I think I was just like, oh, these are magic mushrooms. Like, we were playing a game, but really I was just helping a drug woman get a fix. So, oh, wow. Yeah, I how, know, How right? could a little child help a woman get a fix? I think she just thought it was fun. Like going to the woods and getting mushrooms, and it was kind of fun, but yeah, she. I mean, she I, it's just weird yeah. that she needed you for that. I, no, she used to babysit me. So. <clears throat> or maybe she, maybe you were in disguise, so no one would expect her of, of doing mushrooms. Oh, wow, so it's it, a cover. There, there, there goes mommy with her child. I'm sure yeah, she's, she's not right. doing anything illegal at all. Yeah, like um, like a gay man who gets uh, a girlfriend, right? <laughs> exactly. Like, a cover. Yeah, it's just like, I can't be gay. I have this 900 pound wife. Oh, good, so you weren't raped. That's good. No, no, not that time. That's the, the heavier story. the wife, the more convincing. <clears throat> so, because... Of the last episode. I don't know if you remember this for him, Oh, yeah, I remember there was a story coming. Joey, okay, so... What, Joey was there? No, yes. The plot thickens. Oh, you, yeah. <laughs> so, Florian kind of mentioned it last time. Guy we did videos with, called Joey. Nice guy, still have him on Facebook. Wait, is, is this story about this woman finished? Yeah, she... she took me magic... She took me to see magic mushrooms. She had dreadlocks and well, she painted with her feet. Oh, how was it? How, how were the shrooms, Denise? I don't think... No, I didn't take them. I <laughs> oh, just you helped didn't? her. No, because I, I was like... could have been regular mushrooms. How could you know? I was thinking the worst of well, people. <laughs> okay, well, because this is another story, but she took ecstasy in front of me once. Oh. Yeah, I know. So, yeah. <laughs> it, it was definitely drugs. It was definitely the real deal. I think it must have been. I don't know. I never questioned it. Hmm. Like, years later, but... I think that's what it was, but I've never told my it parents. It was just very expensive white truffles, and you were the pig. <laughs> oink, oink, oink. Sniff out those truffles, Tom. <laughs> Get them down on the floor, boy. I could uh, do yeah. that. I could be a good pig. Um, <laughs> that's good. Yeah, I know. Squeal, squeal, piggy. Um, <laughs> so, so, Joey. <laughs> right. The so, guy who we used to do, like, one video with, and then... Yeah. Y your yeah. Facebook relationship was far, far more advanced than your video relationship. Yeah, I know, right? I don't know why that was, considering 
I see more of his face on Facebook, which you'd think would put me off, but... I know, right? Have you seen his uh, post where he said he was going to delete Facebook and then he never did? Really? I, I didn't <laughs> think he was that kind of guy. I know, right? Like He's gonna, <gasps> gonna throw away his credit cards, He's destroy like... himself and just live in the wild. <laughs> Dude, you know, I had to uh, give him money once, you know. I did too, damn it! Oh my god, you kidding me? Really? You asked you for he did, money? He did pay it back with interest, but damn. Yeah, fucking... yeah, same. God, Holy what, what a, what a dumb asshole. <laughs> like, a year ago? A year ago? ago? Yeah, <laughs> oh my yo, god. A year ago we said the exact same thing, like, to this day. <laughs> Dude, yeah. Oh my god. Oh, we're gonna I... have to have a word with him. <laughs> How much did you give him? I don't shall we remember, say I think it time. was like oh, really? either 100 or 200. It wasn't no much. way, I gave him 50 quid. Oh, okay. And then he paid That's me back even 55. Less. Dude, <laughs> wow. he, he, oh my god, he had so many money problems. It took him so long to pay that back though, jeez. Nah, he paid me back next day. Well, lucky you. Yeah, well, I had to I keep bothering him. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah. shit. That, I honestly, I never, I didn't even tell Sam I gave him the money. I've told her now, and she wasn't happy with me. <laughs> no, not 50 quid, Tom. You, well, I, you spent yeah. all of your allowance today. I think it's just like, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it, I know. Well, I don't I don't normally do it, but it's, you know, it's it was like, It's a good oh, investment a if you get 10% I know, right? Back. 10%, yeah. I know. <laughs> That's what I said. I said, Sam, I, did, I made a business deal, and it paid off. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, I know. Dude, he job hops every week. What, still? He... Oh, I'm sure he does. I mean, I don't know what his current job is, but yeah, he was job hopping like crazy, weren't he? I, I tried to hire him once, but I guess it's good it didn't work out, I'm sure. Probably, yeah. I mean, did you know he worked for Lad Bible at one point? I don't know what that is. Lad Bible? Is that... Yeah, it's those stupid Facebook people who post memes all the time, like... But they're, a, oh they're, they're kind of a company now. Like, they were the original it's Facebook. It's anyone. anyone. Everyone's posting memes on Facebook. Yeah, I know, but he was like, I don't know, there and stuff. But it's, it's crazy. He, I don't know, yeah. So, that was that's Joey, basically, in a nutshell. Job-hopping programmer who oh, has yeah. the face of a gargoyle and... <laughs> oh, gee, he sure but does. But a nice guy. But he is a nice guy. A nice guy. <laughs> A nice, nice gargoyle. gargoyle. <laughs> nice goyle. A pretty gargoyle. Yeah. yeah. Uh, is he like one of those from uh, from that Disney movie? Oh, Hunchback of Notre Dame. That's the one, yeah. <laughs> is he I know exactly is what you're talking about. Is he an annoying singing gargoyle? I think he's the crazy one, but oh, no. sort of like, he's like lucid at times. I thought he was the to... fat one. <laughs> That's harsh. That is harsh. <laughs> he has a glandular problem. Oh yeah, sure he does. Yeah, well, you know, he he, he can't stop you eating. Mean, you that's mean a, a gluttonous problem? That's right. That's right. <laughs> that's one what you of meant, the, right? One of the many sins he's committed, I'm sure. But he still has he still has fit girlfriends, though. I don't know how he does it. He must have a <laughs> abnormally. Do you think all the fat goes to his stomach as well as his penis? And oh, he has no. some sort of. Not, yes. not, not a bulbous penis. Yeah, but he keep ah. he kept talking about bulbous penises. I I I sure it, I'm sure it must be true. That's a hint. That is a hint. <laughs> he he wants to show it to you. Oh he no! Just, he was hoping you'd bring it up. He, he was hoping you'd be the guy to say, "Hey, Joey, do you you know? Hey, you talk about it so much. Show us what you got." Well, that you know how how women are. It's all just about how how much you you're willing to degradate yourself in order to make room for the relationship. What? Is that it? Really? Well, I'm assuming. <laughs> ah, I, I, I'm assuming I've heard of this relationship business. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's always uh, the fact that I don't don't treat him enough like a princess, apparently. Hmm. Really? Is that... Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, I, ah. I was going to talk about this date oh, I had. Oh, dude. boy. Oh, have you told... You haven't told the story yet, then. So I, I need to hear... Really? Oh, I need to hear about this date. Okay, so, wait. Do you want me to talk about Joey, or do you want to talk, tell me about the date? Oh, let's do the date, it's pretty quick. God, okay. It's the most anticlimactic date of all time. Right. But, so I signed up to this fetish website, FetLife, with an hey. E, not an A. I was gonna say, like, <laughs> you're, you're, you're so anti-fat, it's unbelievable. Yeah, it's it's fetish life, don't worry. Right, it's, it's, okay. It's not I'll, disgusting. I was it, worried you changed. Oh, God, no, not anything is... Nothing worse than a fat woman, right? Mm. Right. Yeah, no, I agree. I do hate fat people. 
This is thing. Insert that clip about the fat women being untrustworthy. Okay, and thanks, editor. <laughs> I've, I'd, I'll probably forget. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> a fat woman is inherently untrustworthy as she is a sensualist who sees no real difference between a pastrami sandwich and a dick in the mouth. Uh, yeah. so yeah. So I met this this woman. We didn't waste much time, so we we we, we set up a date, and then yeah, I just went. We're going to get this pizza. Okay. Center of town. I walk there half an hour. No big deal. Yeah. Okay. And then I see her, and she's like so short, a little right. fat, and and pretty hideous. <laughs> and she's like, hey, we're we're meeting here. Like what you? Oh no! You didn't. I, I didn't. No, I. I that oh, was okay. my thoughts. Though. Oh my god! Right. Well, and and, and worst of all, face. yeah, she had a fresh lit cigarette. Ah! Oh, Why? Why would you Why? go on a date with a fresh lit cigarette? No, that's horrible. I god, mean... what? What next? Is she gonna fucking lay down and piss over herself <laughs> in preparation for the date? Jesus! I don't know. That's that's disgusting. Really, like. Oh. I, I can't stand people who speak <laughs> like that. <laughs> she probably should have just told me if she was that much of a smoker anyway, so, so I asked her to put it out, and then she said, No, I don't want to put it out. Oh! And and, oh, and, and, really? and if it if it bothered me and and then I said obviously. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh my god, Florian, you're such a savage. <laughs> I mean seriously. Uh, does this bother you? <laughs> Dude, this is part of the fetish. This is like smoke mm, it's fetish. Not the fetish I wanted. Well, I know, but th <laughs> this is like, this is like your track. Maybe she thought this was a whole scenario. Maybe she thought, oh, okay, I wonder if he's into this kind of fetish. Okay, he's gonna come here, be dominant. I'm gonna smoke, and he's gonna slap it out of my face, oh, and then he's gonna bend me over and take me to brown town something like that maybe she wanted me to burn her with a cigarette yeah sure. i know right this is you what i'm never thinking know. yeah i know right? what was her fetish or is it just a general fetish site well she said well yeah it's a general fetish site but she said she wanted to be submissive and such so well she wasn't submissive that uh, day apparently she yeah i know right I... fucking hell not even putting <laughs> no, out the cigarette put, put out the cigarette and it's like no. Well, it's like, well, this is a shit fetish, isn't it? Yeah, well done, woman. You've really shown yourself yeah. to be submissive. I know, you've ruined the fucking fetish, bitch. That is hilarious. <laughs> that is so awesome that you can have websites like that. That's such a good idea. Oh, yeah, it's, it's pretty great. Apparently she left a, a vanilla relationship so she can explore her fetish side. Oh, boy. Really? Vanilla? Oh, okay. Is that what they call it now? Yeah, Wasn't... that's a, a non-fetish relationship. Right. Okay, that's that's fine. I'd say you got I a vanilla. Yeah, you got that right. Yeah, it's pretty vanilla. Yeah, yeah. I don't <laughs> mind. As long as we don't add some chocolate to that vanilla, I'm happy. <laughs> oh God. Yeah, exactly. Not not the the Bill Nye tune with the chocolate ice cream. Mm. I don't want no swirl. I don't want no swirl. <laughs> I'm I'm good. I'm good with my flavor. So. Yeah, no. That's awesome. But so yeah. So, anyways, I I I just walked away. Then I said, "All right, we're done." Really? Cool. That, that's pretty much what it translates to what I said. <laughs> wow, just, man. In that case, we're done. <laughs> if, wow. If you're not gonna put that, it out. That's... that... Real, wait! So, this is like a 20 minute conversation? Or less? No, it, it was like literally for half a minute. Really? The, Holy the shit. In and out. That, that was a, a, a speed dating almost. I, I had I mean, to walk back for half an hour, but it was... It was good and efficient, surely. It's nice yeah, to get some exercise. I suppose that's the best thing you can have from a first date. Efficiency. <laughs> yeah. You know, you could sort of have like, uh, is sex on the table? No. Okay, bye. Right, done. <laughs> Perfect. Talk over. That's awesome. Well, I mean, putting a cigarette out isn't even on the table, so yeah. I think, I don't know. I mean, this is like Match.com kind of question one, isn't it, right? Like, do you smoke? Cause yeah, apparently on that I, website it doesn't have a... An option for it's for non-smoking, I guess. Really? Uh, that sucks, because I, I can't stand smokers. They, I know, I, I guess I'll just have to ask next time I'm on there. Yeah, I think so. It's not a bad thing, is it? I mean, it's not question one, but it's at least question 15. 
Make yeah. it question 15. Well, yeah. we didn't talk much, so we, we hooked right out. I'm sure she, she realized how hideous she was, so she just wanted to meet people right away and right. see how much of a cuck they are and if they'll... <laughs> If they'll still sleep with her, despite Yeah, her. maybe. Uh, so if she's sort of like super cool on the internet, then it's like it's destroying that expectation that much more, isn't it? When they meet her, it's sort of like, well, but you're such a nice person, you had to ruin it. Why couldn't I find out sooner that you were hideous? That kind of thing. <laughs> well, I mean, it's obvious, really, because all the right. pretty girls are just completely spoiled brats. Right, I suppose. I don't know. Do you think there are some like freaks out there who are just drop dead gorgeous? Do you think it's true? Well, what do you mean freaks? Do you mean sluts? Well, I, I mean, yeah, no, I mean freaky, you know, like, get freaky fetish. In. Oh, but certainly, it's just that they, yeah. they, they still want, they, they're still picky, obviously, and they're still, right. they're still really spoiled rats, as I said, they, they're gonna go yeah. for the, just not even rich alone, being, being rich isn't gonna do, you're gonna have to be handsome, rich, yeah. fucking confident. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's the triangle of terror, isn't it? Oh no! Women. It's like they really they really want that, and it's like I I mean I have neither of those things, and I get on I get on okay. Well, but you have then one again, girlfriend. I, mean, I know I have one girlfriend that I've had for seven years. What the fuck? I'm failing. <laughs> well, I mean it's it's probably fine if you Boy, just I'm want playing to, the long game. If you just want to get your dick wet repeatedly that's probably the best scenario consistent dick wettage is what i'm looking for and as long as you don't man. marry her and if you do that just i'm sure the, the dick wetting will will see yeah it'll oh, dry up oh god she'll never let you make make videos again now i will i will <laughs> go i will be from wet as a something from the rainforest to a cactus right it'll oh be, no it, it'll grow really long dry and spiky <laughs> yeah, that's what's gonna happen. Oh no! I know. Is that a metaphor for genital warts? Oh god! <laughs> god no! It's not. From getting cucked all the time? Maybe, maybe. <laughs> so, uh, that was a fun story. I always like hearing about your dates, the misadventures of Florian Himsel. That is a great name for it, by the way. <laughs> Brilliant. Um. So yeah, I guess I'll get into Joey then. So. Joey's like, yeah, cool guy, he's alright, you know, programmer, bit geeky, a uh, little bit of a straight edge, you know, I don't get the sense that he... What, a straight edge? Or no, straight, straight. Edge? Yeah, right. like, you know, he's kind of sensible and, you know... Wait, no, he goes drinking, what are you talking about? Straight edge is not drinking and not smoking. I, yeah, I don't know, like, not after the encounter I had, so... He's, yeah, but he's not is very he, is wild. Is he sober now? Is he going to never drink again after this weekend? He didn't. He didn't drink much, to be honest. When I met him, anyway, like I think he said, like he's not really allowed to drink too much. I think he's got sort of medical condition, but he didn't really tell me about it too much. But yeah, he did. He didn't drink much, but he did. He used to smoke, I think. Figures, yeah, that's the opposite of straight edge, I guess. Yeah, just missing yeah. the drugs and the rock and roll. But oh, he said when sex. I met oh, him, he's got that too. Damn. I, yeah, <laughs> maybe. So, um, but yeah, when I met him, he said he, you know, quit smoking and he didn't drink as much. So, well, yeah, but I mean, this guy's just. I I just think he's pretty much the least reliable. If, if you know how he treats money, he, he's got, just gonna splurge yeah. everything all the time. As soon as he gets money, he's gonna waste I know. everything. He's probably yeah, gonna start smoking it then as well. I know, he does, I know, he is really bad with his money. And like I said, he job hops and he shows these pictures of these amazing apartments he's in and then he only lives there for a week and then goes somewhere else. Oh my god, well they but, probably couldn't afford like, That's exactly the, the type of wasting money I'm talking about, fucking Probably paid all paid three months of rent just so he could be in there, and then he can't can't afford it. Ooh, surprise! Yeah, I know, I know. But he <laughs> earned he earned like some crazy money as well. I don't Ooh. know how, but well, programming is really well paid. I know it's crazy how much he got paid, but it was like it doesn't matter when you don't no nope. your money. I guess so. Y you only have the money you get minus the money you spent. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's I, I used to be envious of people who earned as much money as he did, but I don't think he has any money to his name now, surely. Unless he's straight. If he still has that money. job, he will do. I yeah, mean, I don't like, even know where he's working. That's insanely now. much. Yeah. Yeah, I can't remember. 
Um, He's almost as much as me. I so. think he... Wait, did he... No, he hasn't deleted his Facebook yet. Um, okay. I think I might have talked him out of it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I know. He's got all his uh, things on his... Uh, his Facebook. Timeline, yes. Yeah, yeah. He, uh, he worked for LateRooms.com, Sky, Vlad Oh, Bible. God, the doxing squid. Yes. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh shebang. Oh, oh and I think he's got his own company now, hasn't he? He does? Yeah, I think he's got technical oh, co-founder. Co co-founder, yeah. The co-founder is... I guess, I guess he counts as his company, alright. I don't know. Yeah, Probably not the financial founder, but yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah, I don't know, so... Um, yeah, so, what were I going to say? Um, alright, so, yeah, kind of a straight-edge guy, compared to the people I know. Anyway, so, we met up, and I... Don't quite remember how this happened, but basically I ended up taking him to my hometown and meeting my friends who I got back in touch with. Uh, my like schoolyard friends who still really good friends with, but they're they're fucking rough, Florian. I mean, the place they lived in was a dump. Jeez. Oh, no, I mean, is, I'm is it like like train spotting? Yes. <laughs> honestly, okay. So there was weed everywhere it was not weed well i know i know well i know they've done harder stuff because they love to reminisce about it um oh yeah just like they, your, your crazy aunt they yeah there was uh alcohol everywhere i think maybe you should drinking. introduce her she could trip out with them who oh wacky jackie oh they yeah. know wacky jackie oh great yeah 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 she yeah yeah no they know who she is because we all oh, used yeah. to hang around and get brought up by the same people as kids. Oh yeah. So did he? Did he flush a baby down the toilet just like in, in train spotting? They flushed Joey down the toilet, and let me tell you, that toilet <laughs> oh, got no. clogged. Yeah, oh, yeah that, that was that was a hard fit. I mean, it was <laughs> it was no Super Mario Brothers. This was this was disgusting fluids <laughs> everywhere. That's what it was for him. Okay. So I don't even know how to describe what it was, but. Let's just say Joey didn't gel with my friends. He, he, I don't know what it was. I think he was just a little bit rude. Like, he was one of those people oh, who, no. when everyone's talking to each other in a room, he might be on his phone browsing Facebook or something. He was one of those people, and I hate those kind of people. And one of my friends, um... Uh, well, I out. think Nick. that's not particularly rude, but all right. I I think it is a little bit rude, like when you introduce. I mean, if if you're not not being talked to directly, oh, what's no, the harm? Oh no, no, like everyone included him. Like, oh, okay. These are the kinds of people I hang around with who are usually pretty cool. It's just I don't know. He just he didn't gel with them, and I don't I don't really know what it was, but it. I mean, it almost ended in a fist fight. I mean, seriously, we were all drinking and having a really good time. I guess jo Joey wasn't drinking, which didn't bother me. I think it bothered some of my friends for some reason. Oh, um, geez. But I think there was a comment made or something like that. So where... these are, are your really good friends, these these drug adult fiends? Um, they, they're not as much anymore. That's simply because <laughs> I've moved. But even Sam said they were a pretty bad influence on me. I'll say. Yeah, they, no, honestly, they were a pretty bad influence. But... Um, yeah, the, Joey was, like, on the couch, and, you know, Nick was standing up, being really aggressive, saying, you know, why the fuck did you even come here? Like, what the fuck? Tom's treating you as a guest, and I let you in my house, and all you can do is sit there fucking around. And it was just, like, oh, it was geez. just great. But I was so drunk. I mean, I was fucking wasted. Are you really I making just... him out to be the bad guy here? Well, no, no. I... <laughs> <laughs> no, because I I was impartial. Like for me, I I don't I don't defend people like that. Like, you know, if he if he doesn't gel with someone, he needs to work it out. I'm not going to be the guy like, yo, come you can't on, get along with everyone. Yeah, exactly, right. I'm I, but I'm not going to be the guy that like, cool it, guys. We're all mellow out here. I'm just like oh, they're like, <laughs> I'm fucking wasted. I'm drunk. I'm happy. If you've got a problem with Joey, then fucking sort it out. I'm not. 
It's not my problem. That, I'm kind of that guy. <laughs> we brought him in. You deal yeah, with basi- him. Yeah, basically. It's like, and no one was like, <laughs> no one was annoyed at me. They were just sort of like, I've got a problem with this guy. And I was like, yeah, he fine. just brought this guy going, let's sit in the corner and place on his iPhone. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> it's like, he's just there, like, just not engaged. I mean, he was, he was, he was a little bit fun at times, like in the beginning, but like quickly, it just seemed to like not work out well. I mean, they had common ground, you know. The guys I know are nerds and stuff, and Joey's kind of a nerd, but he's not really a nerd, I don't think. Um, but it was weird. There was a certain point in the night. This is where I could tell Joey really didn't want to be there because. It was about two o'clock in the morning. Um, I mean, I was, I was, I was basically going to fall asleep on the couch, and he, he was like, "I, I need to go. I need to go home." And yeah, I was you, like, "You I, speak of my nightmares. I'd, I'd hate if I go to a party and then it gets late and then they, they all fall asleep, but I'm not going to be able to fall asleep there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I'd be the one awake and everyone's yeah. just corpses." No, I, I have, I have been in that situation, but. He, uh, so yeah, he was like, I've got to go, I've got to be somewhere tomorrow. And I, I knew he was bullshitting to me, but I think, I, you know, like I said, I was drunk. So well, at the time, I, I was I mean, he could be like, bullshitting, but obviously he'd, yeah, he'd I rather know. be somewhere else tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, I would yeah. still be I, I think chit. that's what I, that's kind of what I said to him. I think I said, okay, Joey, look, if you don't want to be here, fine. That's, you know, that's fine. Don't bullshit to me. But it was insisting he had a job interview, which, again... Not surprising. That, that does way. sound like him. I know it does sound perfectly rational, right? So, <gasps> are you he, smelling of beer? Yeah. <laughs> are, you, are you hungover as fuck? Well, yeah. you'll get this job. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a good point. I mean, so, so again, this is where he fucked up though, because he was like, right, Tom, I know you've got a train station here, and I was like, yeah but it's two o'clock in the morning. I don't think there's any trains going. So we... <laughs> Fuck, I can't even remember what happened. I think we walked. I think we walked like 30 minutes to the train station, I think. And he was like checking the train times and everything. And he was like, well, shit. We should I... go early in the morning yeah, anyways. I, I can't get to Manchester. And I was like, no, because it's two o'clock in the morning. So I think he got an Uber all the way to Manchester, which probably about 30 miles. So that probably cost him about 89 quid, something like that. I mean, I don't know if there's an Uber calculator somewhere, but oh god, he, so, he basically so spent like like <laughs> under a hundred pound just to not be with me and my friends that night. Well, he might yeah. have had actually a job interview, but yeah, yeah, but he should have planned it if that's the if that's the case. Well, like, if he thought that Joey plans anything, you you don't know Joey. Yeah, I know what you mean. So, <laughs> oh, in fact, look. There's a Uber calculator, distance calculator. Oh boy. Oh, do you know how much it is? It might be less than actually. I don't know. It might yeah, be more. Yeah, it's nice. less than I thought actually. Well, it's a Uber X. I don't know what that is. Uh, it is d- 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 thirty-nine pound and fifty-two pence. That's actually quite reasonable, isn't it? Oh no. I mean, still paying forty pound just to fucking leave, but I yeah. don't know. So I haven't actually seen him since. Well, how else uh, would he have gotten home? Well, fucking leave earlier. Like, if he didn't want to be there, he should have just done something about it. But I think... I, I don't know, because I haven't really he talked to him rude. much. I mean, yeah, he stayed I, I a long that. time after all. I don't... Yeah. <laughs> You're being a bit unreasonable about this whole situation. No, it's, it's, <laughs> it's just the story. Like, I don't... I don't blame joey for the way he acted and okay. i you know i kind of not like blaming my friends for the way they acted but it was sort of like it was so weird that <laughs> like no one got along like like i've never i've never been in a situation where i just don't gel with someone maybe that's just me oh like, god do you want to hear it... about my most uh, disgusting date ever Mm. Go on. What is this for next time? Or it is this for it? next time. Yes. Excellent. Go subscribe. Hop on to the future. We'll we'll continue recording, but you'll hear it Please. another time. Goodbye. Subs- subscribe. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>